The jewel of Montenegro and the Adriatic Sea, Boca Kotorska Bay, lies at the feet of the Lovchen and Orion Mountains. In the year 2000, this part of the sea, with its natural zone, was listed as one of the 25 most beautiful bays in the world. At the very top of Boca Kotorska Bay lies Kotor, the ancient city of magnificent architecture and numerous cultural and historical features. Kotor and other urban settlements in the Boca Kotorska Bay were largely orientated towards seafaring, and that orientation provided economic and cultural prosperity. In contrast, the main activity of the surrounding smaller settlements was fishing, which ensured just enough income for bare survival. Even today, the fishing in the area is based on hard work and the willingness of people of the area to come to each other's aid. Approximately 70% of fishermen from the area have a license for small-scale commercial fishing. It differs from large-scale commercial fishing in that the maximum vessel length permitted cannot be greater than 12 meters, and also in the type and number of fishing gear allowed. Mali obalni ribolo u zaliju se zasniva na tradicionalnim starim alatima. To su mreže potegače koje se koriste već tradicionalno nekih stotinu godina. Although the abundance of wildlife in oceans and seas is immense, it's difficult to meet the increasing needs of the Earth's population. Catches of fish and other aquatic organisms increase every year, while the biomass of many species is being drastically reduced. And this is the main reason for the intensive development of aquaculture in recent years. Aquaculture obuhvata sve djelatnosti vezane za uzgoj vodenih organizama, dok je termin marikultura aquaculture u morskoj vodi. Marikultura zavisi od dostupnosti prirodnih resursa i za nju je poseban važan izbor tehnologije kako bi proces uzgoja bio održiv, ali i da bi se očuvali prirodni resursi koji se koriste. Crna Gora ima značajne prirodne resurse koji se mogu koristiti za programe marikulture. The Institute of Marine Biology is the only scientific institution in Montenegro engaged in research into the field of mariculture. The research began in the 1960s and was related to the possibility of growing edible shellfish. Since then, the research has focused on the possibility of growing mussels, oysters, Japanese oysters, as well as trout farming in seawater. Aquaculture industry has a growth rate of 8% and this is a data that says the speed of this industry. The most important thing is that the growth of the development of agriculture increases the potential of natural resources, that in the space of urban view there is no one other sector, so there is no agricultural land, no construction of tourist objects, but it is also increased by the development. There are 16 shellfish and fish farms in Montenegro and all of them are located in the Boca Kodoska Bay. Most of them grow only mussels, and some of them have a combined cultivation of mussels and oysters. There are two fish farms for sea bass and sea bream, which have an annual production of about 120 tons, and one of them has introduced a system of integrated mariculture. We use an integral system of mariculture, which means that there is no fish food, and there is a problem of fish food, which is the result of the local area, which is used as a food in the other system, in this case, the fish food is used. In that way, the total production system is bigger, and it is under the total control of the fish food. The whole production of white fish is placed on the domestic market, which shows the greatest interest for the production of fish food. Because of the fact that the amount of fish food is in the fish food, so as well as the better price and availability of fish food during the whole year. White fish farming is based on a closed growing cycle in floating cages in the sea, and, like shellfish farming, is at low levels in relation to the available natural resources. Sales are mainly by direct delivery while well, recently several retail chains have begun to market these products as well. Na ovom uzgajalištu uzgajamo školjke na tradicionalan način i to je jedan mali porodični biznis. Da bi opstali na zahtjevnom tržištu potrebna je veća stimulacija od strane države u vidu povećanja uzgajališta, transfera novih tehnologija uzgoja i brendiranje proizvoda. The long-term goal is for Montenegro to become recognized as a producer of high-quality seafood because it has favorable conditions for fish farming in the Boko Kotoska as well as in the open sea, where there are currently no mariculture programs. The development of this sector could provide a connection with tourism in providing an offer for visitors. The goal is technological improvement of the sector of mariculture, based on the principles of standard of safety of the food, in the improvement and promotion of the quality of the water, and all this with the preservation of the natural resources of the area.
Ukoliko odgovorimo svim ovim izazovima na pravi način, razvoj sektora mare kulture ima veliki potencijal. Uvezan sa turizmom kao ključnim sektorom u Crnoj Gori doprinjet će kvalitetnoj gastronomskoj ponudi. Također, ostvarivanjem svih ovih ciljeva smanjit će se ribolovni pritisak na postojeće resurse i također ono što je važno doprinjet će otvaranju novih radnih mjesta. The Code of Conduct on Responsible Fisheries, adopted by FAO in 1995, says it is necessary to introduce and develop joint management of these resources in cases where several countries share the same fisheries resources. In the relatively closed Adriatic Basin, coastal countries are aware of the risks of indiscriminate use of fish resources. And in 2000, a regional project was initiated called the Adria Med Project, which Montenegro joined in 2004. Cilj projekta je davanje podrške jadranskim državama o stvarenju strategija zajedničkog upravlja ribarstvu. U skoordinisanu saradnju državnih uprava za ribarstvo, istraživačkih struktura, ribarskih preduzeća i profesionalnih ribara, a po preporuci kodeksa o odgovorom ribarstvu. Crna Gora je aktivni partner projekta u kome je od ključne važnosti razvoj naučne saradnje između zemalja koje izlaze na Jadransko more. Adrimet projekat je osnovao stalni neutralni forum za otvoreni i konstruktivni dijalog i doprinuje implementaciji okvira koji će stimulisati saradnju među svim akterima u ribarstvu na Jadranu. Kooperativni okvir je dodatno ojačan kroz sinergiju sa odborom za akvakulturu Generalne komisije za ribarstvo Mediterana. Kao rezultat toga, stručnjaci za administracije, istraživačkih instituta, Organizacija proizvođača i farmera sastali su se da zajedno pokrenu postupak za identifikaciju potencijalnih zona za marikulturu na otvorenom dijelu crnogorske obale i da kroz upotrebu sistema indikatora drživosti odredi potencijalno najbolje zone za marikulturu. Montenegro ima valjubno, ali underutilizno resursi u fišeri sektoru. I rola u fišeri je important, ne samo u ekonomiku, ali i u socijalnom i kulturalnom termu. At the same time, fishing should not only be considered as the process of catching fish, but also as a sustainable exploitation of fish stocks, which is the essential role of mariculture.